Um, so now let's go and talk about the formula. All right. So the reason why we talk about, Emma, um, when you're doing a circle as an ellipse is let's take a look at it again. We know this looks very similar to a circle, right? The only really difference between this and a circle is we have, we have a major axis and a minor axis. But if our axes were exactly the same, we would have a circle, right? So let's go and look back at the standard form of a circle. x minus h squared equal plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right. Now, we have r because r is equal right, for everything. We have the same radius. Here, we don't have a radius. right? We don't have a value that's equal for each one of these. Correct? One side is longer than the other side. Right? From here to here is longer than it is from there to there. Understand? OK. So when you have a vertical ellipse, our equation looks very similar. But rather than having an equal value, having it equal to a value that's equal for all of it, we're going to have to change this over. So what we have is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 1. And then to help us differentiate between what is going to be the major axis and what is the minor axis, when we have a vertical, we know that the vertical axis is larger than the horizontal axis, right? So this, this ellipse is longer vertically than it is horizontally. Therefore, and remember, our a represents our major axis. So since our major axis is longer vertically, we're going to have a squared over this, and then b squared over here. Now, let me just go back to you and say, how is this the exact same thing as a circle? Let's say I did x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 1. And ladies and gentlemen, let's say that b squared is the same thing. Let's say, let's say these are equal, right? Let's say these were equal. Well, how would I get rid of b squared? You'd multiply both sides by b squared, right? Therefore, you'd be left with x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals b squared. So if they were equal, we know that b squared would equal r. But we know that our, these are not the same. So we have to differentiate them with different variables, where a represents your major axis and b represents your minor axis. So you're just going to want to make sure when you have a vertical ellipse or with the major axis symmetry or a major axis, which is vertical, your a is going to be under your y and your b is going to be under your x. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll be doing plenty of those. You don't worry about that. All right. Um, so how?